Hey guys, Paul with CP Addict here in beautiful Jasper, Texas at the new city park that they're building. We're kind of using their parking lot to get some cool shots while they're still under construction. Um, I am here with Paul from Tennessee who drove his truck, what, 10 hours? Eight hours. Eight, eight, eight A little hours. over 500 miles. Drove, drove 500 miles, eight hours here. Uh, left at what, uh, one o'clock Friday morning. One o'clock Friday yesterday. morning. He kind of spent the day with us at our shop yesterday, but uh, this weekend is technically our trucks and tacos, cars and coffee. It's our little show. He, uh, hardcore here, decided to hop in his truck the other night, take a day off work and whew, all the way down here. So it's, it's been cool, uh, you know, talking to him about his truck and, and meeting somebody else with the same passion as us, especially, you know, somebody that would do like we do and just jump in the truck and drive. So. We've got his 97 F350 here. You kind of told us yesterday some about the truck, you know, and you bought it you know, six or seven years ago. So if you don't mind, kind of tell us some more about that. I bought this truck uh, into 2012. Uh, it was a one owner uh, truck, 180,000 miles. Uh, it it was a Papaw truck when I bought it. So, so, so like what drew you to this truck when you bought it? Uh, I've always wanted one, wanted an OBS truck, and I've had you know multiple diesels in the past. I've had I was a Cummins guy, so oh. if that, don't hold that against me. So. You're retarded, like Seth. Yeah, I so. mean, hi Seth. <laughs> I've had four four Cummins, and this is my second Power Stroke, and uh, the other Power Stroke was a six liter, so I won't get into that. But <laughs> this is uh, by far uh, been my favorite truck out of all of them. I've had it for going on seven years almost, so it's. Definitely my favorite. So you pretty much bought it bone stock, factory aluminum Alcoas on it and all that. And you were telling me it's got what, 350,000 or something? 350,000 miles on it today and it's a daily driver. No hesitation to get in it and drive it anywhere. I've driven, like I said, to Daytona a couple years ago. That's 800 miles. Uh, so it was about a 12 hour drive in that truck. And I've driven to Houston, Texas. Uh, Jacksonville, Texas, where they used to have mud gnats. Oh, nice. I've driven to Lifted Truck Nationals. That's up in Missouri. I don't hesitate to get in and drive it anywhere. It's been a very good, reliable truck, it, well, like it sits. And like you said, it's kind of one of your, it, it, it is your favorite truck, and it, other things would go before this ever, you know, decided to sell. And you've you've built it, you know, as your vision, and you've got the, the Sky Super Duty shackle reversal and then the uh, eight inch lift springs on top of that. So you're running somewhere around 12 inches of lift well, correct. Um, on this thing. So, I mean, if you kind of give me a rundown of how you got to to this point in the truck, that'd be awesome. Yeah, uh, the, when I first got it, I did a just a four inch lift. It wasn't the Super Duty springs or the, uh, you know, shackle the reversal. Old, like rough a, country Just a good old lift. four inch, you know, Basic, OBS basic. basic, you know, front and rear, and I <laughs> and believe it or not, <laughs> with the four inch, this is gonna sound crazy. With the four inch on that truck, I was running 40 inch, 40 15 50 tires with 20 inch wheels. And now that I've gotten bigger over the years, I've gone up in lift size and down in tire size, if that makes any sense. But it uh this I had the four inch, then I took that off, and then I, when I put the six inch springs on it, I did, that's when I did everything, updated everything. I did a six inch spring front and rear, and that's when I did the Skies shackle reversal up front, four inch. And then the rear, I have the shackle flip kit in the okay. rear. And uh, yeah, I noticed you didn't have any blocks in the rear. I have, so. well, it's a very, it's only like an inch, inch and a half block, because I just wanted to run straight spring, yeah. no block. Uh, but, and then drove it like that for a little while. And then I went to an eight inch spring, uh, super duty springs, of course, front and rear and, uh, did all, did that to, and I have crossover, I have sky, uh, crossover steering up front and I did skies crossover pan hard bar. I, I was front. noticing, I was noticing those two things. And the other thing I noticed too earlier is you got disc brake on the rear. Correct. So I'm assuming super duty axle under the rear of the truck mm -hmm. to, for the disc brake conversion mm -hmm. on it. Yes. It's a 99 to 04 super duty rear end. Uh, it's in 05 is when they went to the bigger rear disc. They got bit, bigger calipers and bigger rotors, but I got a hell of a deal on the 99 to 04, so I put it Might in there. Well, I just right? wanted rear disc. It's yeah. just, it's a lot cleaner and they're a lot easier to work on than yeah, the well. good old drum brakes. <laughs> and then I went to, uh, the truck has 373 gears in it. It had 410s with the Sterling rear and uh, 
uh, day and night difference between 410s and 373s. So r roughly how many miles are on it now, you said? R around 350 now. And do you have an idea of uh, what kind of fuel mileage you get with the 373s and the tires and wheels and stuff on it? It's, it's. Uh, or are you like me and you just get in it and if I, it's got diesel in it, you drive it? I'm like that. If I had to guess, uh, I don't know, maybe 12, somewhere around there, if that. I mean, it's, it's, it's not bad, but it's not good. I think if I actually did the calculations <laughs> on it, I would probably be upset. But like, like I, like I said, that's why I got the good old. Yeah, fuel tank, and, tank in a bit. And then I I did a uh, Bronco tank conversion. Okay. So for you people got, that have wanted to do that, that yeah, was you, actually a fairly easy install with slight modification. You've got you've got basically plenty of fuel to go wherever you need and to it's go a, in it. The it's just I took the front tank out. Yeah. Dropped it out and it just cleaned up underneath the truck and then I did a single Bronco tank, 35 which, gallon tank in the rear. Which is still more fuel than the two tanks combined. Anyway, yeah, so. a little bit more. You yeah. know, I, I think you get about, you know, five more gallons. So. so what's your absolute most favorite mod on this truck that you've done so far? Like what? It, what is the, I mean, you were telling me you've changed wheels like numerous yeah, times oh yeah. and the lift has gone up and down in different ways. But what's your, what's your most favorite thing that you've done to it? Favorite thing would be steering and handling uh just because i've had lifted trucks before with without the high steer and the crossover right. and they just you know how they they have that they wander just, and walk they wander yeah. and walk and it had a lot you know you get bump steer mm -hmm. and tracking and stuff like that and with these wheels and tires those are 24 16s with 375 as wide as they are and the steering i have on it absolutely no no tracking, no, no bump steer. It drives straight. It's, I mean, it's that's my favorite thing I've done to the truck because I do drive it every day and I drive well, it long distances. So I want it to be an easy truck to drive. Right. So I love it. It's a it's a passion. It's an expensive hobby. Uh, <laughs> this is true. Uh, like I said, I've been driving it every day. Well, man, we appreciate you coming yes. all the way out here. I enjoyed showing it. off the truck and all yes, that. Sir. You guys, if you uh, like our channel and like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got some more cool stuff coming. Maybe we can even get some rolling shots of this truck here in a few. Uh, maybe we can talk Seth into doing that. So uh, stay tuned to the channel.